I've got an AI today that is absolutely going to blow your mind and it's going to change how a lot of you create content on YouTube and all the other social media platforms. It's going to help you write your titles. Let me back up for a second. It's going to write your titles for you. It's going to write your descriptions for you. It's going to write bullet points and give you ideas. It's going to give you video ideas. It's going to write out your script. This is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. What we're talking about today is an AI called ChatGPT. This is a text-based AI. That's the only one we're gonna to cover today. But for those of you who have not been paying attention to what's been going on in the AI world, there are also AIs that can make your thumbnails for you now. There are AIs that can edit your videos. There's even an AI that creates real looking people to do talking head content for you. So we're getting really close to the point where AI can do pretty much everything for you as a creator. We can get into the pros and cons of that a little bit later. Uh, you know what, I'll just get into a couple of them now. I think the big con of that is the more that these tools do these things for us, the, you know, we don't, we don't sharpen our skills, right? When you're skilled at something, you become very knowledgeable at that thing. And to be able to know if an AI is doing a good job or not, you need to be skilled at that thing. So I think that's one big negative, but a big pro here is for people who are just starting out, who are having trouble coming up with video ideas, who are having difficulty writing a script, who are having difficulty coming up with titles and just general ideas, this thing is gonna be a game changer for you. And that's what we're gonna dive into today. We're gonna get some, uh, we're gonna get some ideas here out of the chat as well. And I'm gonna go through some ideas here. Uh, Tom Nash, how you doing, man? Tommy Bernard, how you doing? Sammy, how you doing, Doug, of course, Tracy Parks. The gang is all here. Look, I haven't gone live in a really, really, really long time. I'm sure I'm rusty. I'm sure I'm out of practice, but I don't care. I was so excited about this uh, chat GPT. I've been playing with the image ones like, uh, like Dolly and Mid Journey. I've been playing with those coming up with, you know, cool imagery. But when I came across this one, I knew uh, I, I knew that this one's going to change everything. So, Chat GPT. I always want to get that wrong. Chat GPT, and be ready to get your mind blown here. It's currently free. I don't know if it's going to be paid or not, but it's currently free. Anybody can get an account there, and buckle up, buckle up because I'm going to show you something. We're we're just going to kick this off right out of the gate. So let's just come here and you put a query into it. And by the way, this isn't just about YouTube. Think about, imagine Google on steroids and then give those steroids steroids and then give it to the Terminator. That's, that's what chat GPT is. So let's just start with this, right? Let's just ask it to give some YouTube ideas, right? So let's say, give me 10 YouTube ideas for car repair. All right, now this one's very simple. You type it in and you just hit go and watch what it does. It's thinking. And by the way, this thing doesn't get it right 100% of the time, but it lets you know that it tells you it's learning. It, it's still learning. Okay, how to clean and maintain your car's exterior. DIY car tire repair, patching a punctured tire, how to change your car's oil and filters. Fixing common car electrical issues, DIY brake pad replace. These are ideas for car repair, right? It took a second to think, boom, there's 10 ideas for car repair. I mean, what? What? Okay, so what about we say give us titles, right? Write 10 catchy and ex oopsie, exciting YouTube titles for, give me an idea. Somebody give me an idea out of the chat. Oh my God is right. Yeah, yeah, I told you, you guys are about to have your mind blown. <laughs> I I saw this and I'm just like, oh, what? I, yeah, I'm still trying to, and this thing does so much more. This thing can write your homework for you. I've seen lawyers on TikTok, like dig into this and try to talk about uh, and ask it legal questions and it, it gets it right. Goff, okay, Goff. Hey, Golf Plus, how's it going? Give me 10 catchy and exciting YouTube titles for playing golf. Now, how about golf? Um, how about we do 
Uh, let's do golf beginners. How about that one? For golf beginners. And let's see what it does here. Oh, yeah, it'll do everything. So here we go. Look, then you have to think. Here we go. Golf for beginners, everything you need to know. Five easy tips for improving your golf swing. How to choose the right golf clubs for you. Come on. This is incredible. Golf etiquette, do's and don'ts on the course. Golf course management, strategies for lower scores. Golf for beginners, common mistakes and how to avoid them. Golf workouts, exercises to improve your game. Golf drills for beginners, improve your technique. Golf tips and tricks, secrets from the pros. Now, this is free. This is free. So Golf Plus, you have a golf channel. I wanna hear from you right now what you think about those titles. Someone who has a YouTube channel, about golf tell me what you think about those titles now they tell you when you're signing up that it does have some errors on certain things so it's not like you know if you're asking it for very detailed things it might make some mistakes but this is new and it's still learning so as this gets ironed out and it learns from everybody and it's a learning from all the queries that people are typing in see here we go really really good so golf plus has a great golf channel and he's saying that these titles are really, really good. Now watch this. What well, Doug says, they hit a million users in five days. Right. So this thing is brand new. Imagine what this is going to be like in a year. And once it gets, right, once you have it in an account and it gets to know you, that's where things are going to get crazy. Like you can even write a letter. We're going to get into all this stuff. Like I'm, 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 I'm just blown away. I'm having difficulty. Uh, I'm having difficulty articulating my excitement for what this does. So let's check this out. So let's pick one of these titles. Um, write a YouTube script for a video about the basics of golf, right? Write a YouTube script. Boom, let's see what it does. Look at this, right? Welcome to our channel, right? Oh my goodness, look at this. Come on now, listen, come on. I'm bringing you something today. Hit the thumbs up, share this on whatever social media platform you're the most active on. Hey, Sammy, thanks, buddy. Appreciate that. Um, it's called Chat GPT. Hey, Nikki, how you doing? Grabs is in the house. Grabster says, I asked this bot to make basic mobile app for me yesterday and it did it. I tested the apps. It wasn't accurate by any means, but the app worked. Uh, my prompt was quite specific to it's why. Yeah, and, you know, they're going to iron this stuff out. They're going to iron this stuff out. But it's unbelievable what it's doing right here. Tube spanners in the house, ladies and gentlemen. Wait until you see this working. Oh, my goodness. Did you integrate this into tube spanner? What? Yeah, I'm going to have to see that. I'm going to have to see that. So, yeah. So, tube spanner dot com. Uh, for those of you who don't know, you can head over to tubespanner.com and check out what they've got going on over there. They've got some amazing creator tools as well. Yeah, I'm going to have to see exactly what you've got going on. All right, so let's see what it says here. So this is the, the, the short script that it wrote. And I'm going to read this. Welcome to our channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about the basics of golf. Golf is a popular sport that can be enjoyed by people of all ages and skill levels. It's a great way to get outside, enjoy the fresh air, and have some fun. Golf is played on a course with nine to 18 holes. Each hole has a tee box, a fairway, and a putting green. The objective of this game is to put your golf ball in the hole as few strokes as possible. That sounds kind of suggestive, but let's roll with it. To play golf, you'll need a set of clubs. How incredible is this? This wrote a YouTube script, and it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Combine GPT with your channel data. Boom. Amazing. Tommy, how you doing, buddy? Let me see here. This is fire. All right, so I'm going to go through here, and I'm going to look for some other. Okay, gaming. So let's do this. Um, let's just say um, write 10 Minecraft Oops, did I spell that? video ideas for YouTube. Um, just write 10 Minecraft video ideas for YouTube. Ready? Boom. Let's see what it says. 
Minecraft building tips and tricks. How to survive your first night in Minecraft. Oh, that's a good one. I like that. Minecraft redstones, creations, automatic doors, TNT cannons, and more. Explore the best. Guys, this is incredible. Absolutely incredible. And if what Tube Spanner is talking about here, if it's doing what I think it's doing, she's connected this to your account after you connect your YouTube account to Tube Spanner. So they're taking your YouTube data and merging this to really customize. Uh, I haven't seen it yet, but that sounds amazing. <laughs> I've been doing this all, right? Is this not incredible? I've just been given 20 titles for YouTube videos. Wow. Yeah, so don't, don't say I never helped you guys out with anything. <laughs> this is mind boggling. This is terrible. Yeah, well, here's the thing. Uh, it depends on how you look at it. Uh, yes, it's terrible in the sense that we've all seen the sci-fi movies and we all know how this is ultimately going to end. But until that day comes, it's going to be one hell of a ride. Um. <laughs> yeah, insane, right? So let's, let's do this. Um, give me five bullet points for a YouTube video script about Roblox. What is Roblox and how do you play it? The different type of game, right? These are just bullet points, things to talk about in the video. Look how fast that is. Yeah, remember you have to make the video. Yeah, for now. Hey, Chantel, for now you have to make the video. But there are other AIs that will do this. Well, here's the thing with AI is you have to learn how to, not with this one, this one's just a text query, but like with the image win and the ones that's editing the videos and stuff, you have to learn how to give it the right uh, commands in order to get it to do what you want. Uh, so D, you do agree with me, Cyberdyne is closer than you, uh, yeah. You know, I'm, you know, <laughs> this, all this AI, I mean, Skynet is gonna be running stuff shortly. The titles are really cool. So let's do this one for, for Little Crafty Nook. Um, give me 10 video ideas about, uh, what would you call that? Uh, crafting at home for beginners. See what it comes up with, Nikki. And you tell me if these are good or not. It's thinking. Sometimes I don't know if I write the correct thing or not, but let's see. It's thinking, crafting. Maybe it doesn't know what crafting is. We're about to find out. Here we go. 10 and easy, inexpensive DIY home decor ideas. How to make your own handmade cards. Nikki, boom, got it. DIY spa day, simple recipes for homemade bath and products. It's not all crafting, but it's pretty close. Beginner's Guide to Knitting, How to Cast, Chantel, that's for you. Macrame for Beginners, How to Make a Wall, right? And these are very specific titles. Like even for the golf thing, these are very specific. And these are titles that would definitely speak to a particular audience. Paper Crafts for Beginners, How to Make Your Own Origami from Paper Flowers. Ooh, greeting cards. Okay. Um, right. 10 YouTube titles for homemade greeting cards. Let's see what that comes up with. Yeah, I'm just blown away by this. And this is just YouTube. This thing can do, it can write anything. I've seen people writing uh, blog posts with it and they're, I've seen people writing code, HTML, PHP, C+. They're getting all sorts of programming language in here. I don't know how accurate it is, Tube Spanner can probably let you know how accurate that is. And I think Grabs was asking it to make an app. Uh, but the cool thing is it's just getting started. So here we go, Nikki. How to make beautiful handmade cards for every occasion. DIY greeting cards, 10 and easy creative ideas. So Nikki, right here, here's 10 video ideas. I mean, I could have asked it to write 100. And then you can go in and you can have it write scripts for those. Fun and creative handmade cards for kids. All of these titles are fantastic. How to make your own Christmas cards at home. DIY cards for every season, spring, summer, fall, and winter. 
These are fantastic. It wrote its own module. There you go. <laughs> yeah, at, at this particular time, it is free. I don't know if they have plans on putting it behind a paywall. I have no idea. My guess is, as at some at some point, and Tube Spanner can probably chime in on this. I'm sure she knows a lot more uh, about this than I do. But at some point, my guess is, after it's honed a little bit and learned and, and consumed a lot of information and queries, I'm going to guess they'll put it behind a paywall where maybe they'll allow you to have X amount of queries for free, but then if you want to do a lot or write X amount of things, maybe you're going to have to pay for that. Okay, you do have to pay for the big API. So if you're going to pull this in um, and use this on your platform, you got to pay for it. I know they did this with, um, with MidJourney. I think they give you, I forget what it was, 20 images, or maybe it might have been 50 images for free. And then after that, you have to pay for them. That's right. Get your titles now. Yeah. I mean, just come in and be like, give me a hundred titles. Boom. Write a hundred scripts. Boom. Uh, the free version is limited to 250 tokens per result. There you go. The API we use in TubeSpanner has no limit. Oh, there you go. Okay. So I'm going to try something very specific. So I wrote this out beforehand and I don't know what it's going to do. I want to see, write a catchy YouTube script about how to change the oil in a 1972 Cadillac Eldorado. Super specific here. Welcome to our channel. In this video, we're going to show you how to change the oil in a 1972 Cadillac Eldorado. This classic car is known for its luxurious features and powerful engine. And it's important to keep it in good working order. Changing the oil is a simple maintenance task that anyone can do. It can help extend the life of you. This is incredible. I used to have a 1972 Cadillac Eldorado. Um, that's, this is incredible. Absolutely incredible. Just signed up. There you go. You need some new titles. Well, there it is. There it is. Go over there, sign up now, and, uh, and go do it. I mean, this is insane. Look at the detail that it's adding here. It actually knows how to change your oil. Use your ratchet and socket to loosen the drain plug. Be careful not to strip the bolt. It's even giving you warnings. Be careful not to strip uh, the bolt. Use a moderate amount and force and be patient. Once the bolt is loose, use your oil. I mean, this is insane. Now, this is just YouTube stuff. <laughs> yeah, right? When I saw this, I was like, you know what? I have to make, I have to do a live stream. I have to go live. I need to share this with people because it's just so cool. Uh, I just got a script from it. It feels like cheating. Well, you know what? I mean, that's that's a great question. And here's, you know, back to the pros and cons. And and is this ethical? This is where it's going, right? Like there, we, we've already got AI making images. They're making videos. They're editing videos. They're writing papers. They're doing homework. It's like the AIs are, like, this is where we're going. So... The question comes down to, is it cheating? No, I don't think so. Um, but I think that if you lean on this too hard as a crutch and you never learn how to do it yourself, I think that ultimately in the long run, uh, that could harm you because you never know what's good and what's bad. Like if you ask an AI to make something for you and you don't know how to make that thing yourself, you don't have any gauge on if that's a good result or not. If you're like, hey, write a YouTube script for me and you don't know how to do your own YouTube script yet, and you don't know if it's good or not. I mean, it, they do a pretty decent job, but I think it's good. It's important for us to know what's good and what's not good. Uh, let's see. So the limits are: it's not intelligent. It just looks like it is. So, for example, we taught it that someone had won the awards that had in the cabinet. Interesting. Yeah, so this script is is pretty good. But again, you know, like I wouldn't take the script and, and just read it word for word or the titles, you know, look at them. Look at them, you know your niche, you know the type of content you're trying to make. Look at them and say, okay, is this correct? Is it missing anything? Can I change this? Can I change that? Uh, a script, KL the Gamer Girl, it, uh, it would be the words that people read during a video. Some people like to use bullet points, maybe they'll put 
five or 10 bullet points. Like, I just want to make sure I say these things. Some people write full scripts and they read them word for word in their video. Some people just hit record and wing it based on what's in their head. I like to do that a lot. <laughs> um, the intent was they kept the awards on display in the cabinet, but the AI thought award winning cabinets. Oh. Yeah, so I wonder though, did it learn from that? Well, make that mistake again. Yeah, fascinating. So let's see what else. Um, give me five viral TikTok video ideas. No idea how this is going to work. Eh? Looks like it's jammed up here. Let me read. Hold on. It looks like it stopped. And that's it. Oh, I love this. So it even ends at like, and that's it. You've successfully changed your oil. This simple maintenance task will help you keep your running uh, car smoothly, prolonged life. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out our other videos for more car repair. Come on. That's amazing. All right. Give me five viral TikTok video ideas. No idea how it's going to do with TikTok. It's thinking. I'm sure it knows what TikTok is. Let's see. Um, so you need to learn how to ask at things and add limits and structure, which still needs a human, right? I asked it something simple, and it gave me the five most popular songs in that category. Oh, that's a good one. I'm going to try that. Five viral TikTok ideas. A dance challenge set to a popular song. Meh. A funny skitter sketch. Meh. See, it's, this is very generic here. And I'm not sure what I expected asking for viral TikTok ideas because these are technically what goes viral on TikTok. So it is trying. Try not to laugh challenge. Yeah, these are pretty generic, but I guess that's what works. Okay. Um, what were the top 10 rock songs charting in 1992? Let's see how smart it is looking back at uh, history. Loving the way it's blowing up with the features. We're about to launch. We get a boost from the attention it's getting. That's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> cannot compute TikTok, right? Let's see what it says here. Here we go. Oh, look at this. I'm sorry, but I'm a large language model trained by an open AI, so I don't have access to specific information. Ooh, interesting. Addition, okay, we just found a limitation here. Is it trying specific year? Additionally, my training only goes up to 2021. Okay, so I don't have information about events or trends after that year. I can help you more or ask more general questions about music if you have any. Okay, um, who is the best drummer in rock music Let's see what it says john bottom neil pert i'm gonna guess john bottom yeah exactly it's a tool like anything else but it's a really smart tool yeah this is where i'm getting all my tiktok juice you'll be you'll see me dancing on tiktok soon Um, it's difficult to say who the best drummer in rock music is, as musical taste and skill are highly subjective. Uh, some drummers who are considered among the best in the rock genre include Neil Peart, boom, nailed it, of Rush. John, ba man, look at that, number one and number two. I know my drummers. Dave Grohl, check that out. Other highly regarded rock drummers include Keith Moon. There you go. Really impressive. So let's ask it something very, very specific. When the new Indiana Jones movie comes out. Okay, let's check it out. All right, so when does the new Indiana Jones movie release? Let's see. Let's see what it says here. Crafty Nook is on TikTok. Love it. Right? It didn't mention. Oops. 
I'm sorry, but I'm not able to browse the internet. Okay, that's interesting. Upcoming movies. Additionally, my training only goes up until 2001. Yeah, we're going to see this. Let's see if they realize that it's, I'm asking about the actor. Yes, it's nuts. I would say thanks for watching that soon. There you go. Stumped it a little bit. I wonder if it knows who Indiana Jones is. Oh, Indiana Jones is a fictional character created by George Lucas and Steven Spielberg. He's portrayed by Harrison Ford. Wow, got it. So it knows the character. Ford also played other iconic roles. All right, now this is a trick question for Star Wars. Who shot first? Han or Greedo? Star Wars nerd stuff. Um, only Hunter in the most icy cantina. However, in the pre-release of the film, later the object appears as it knows. She's going to respond the film. Argument that the character made him will seem less resolutely self Yeah, incredible. It's not a search. It's important to remember that when deploying how to use it effectively. There you go. Yeah, I like to, yeah. For me, Indiana Jones is a real person. <laughs> Supposedly, Google has a much better chatbot already. I don't have yet to release it. Some great articles out there. Um, let's just beat them to the punch. Yeah, this is incredible. Taurus, thank you so much for the super chat. Greatly appreciate it. You definitely deserve this. Thanks for the info. I appreciate that so much. All right, let's get back to YouTube. Let's do, um, how about a YouTube description? Write a uh, keyword rich. Rich, YouTube uh, description, oops, description about, uh, YouTube about um, learning how to live stream. Are you ready to take your content to the next level? In this video, we'll show you how to easily set up and start live streaming on YouTube. Our step-by-step -step guide will walk you through the process of choosing the right equipment and software to optimizing your stream for maximum engagement. Whether you're a gamer, vlogger, or just trying to connect with your audience in real time, learning how to live stream on YouTube is a must-have skill. So why wait, hit play, and start stre streaming today? So I'm going to change this. Um, ask reader to subscribe and follow on Twitter. I'm just going to add some more and see what they say. Yeah, so this is our YouTube description. So we're just going to YouTube to produce content that sounds when it comes from you. There you go. That's smart. Here we go. Ooh, they changed the whole description. Join us on our journey to mastering the art of live streaming. Ooh, I like that. Um, in this video, I'll show you everything you need to know. I'm actually going to take a picture of that because mastering the art of live streaming. I love that. Um, from choosing the right equipment software to optimizing your stream for maximum engagement, we've got you covered. Plus, we'll share some insider tips and tricks to help you grow your audience and build a loyal following. Don't miss out on all the fun. Hit subscribe and follow us on Twitter for even more streaming goodness. See you on the next one. How insane is that? Hey, life on YouTube and Twitter, how you doing? Type, what is better, apples or oranges? Okay. What is better... Apples or oranges. Yeah, I'm sure this thing has a ton of limitations, but for coming up with like YouTube ideas, descriptions, scripts, bullet points, uh, those are really good. Scary good. 
Orange is a better boat fruit. Why do you say that? Why do you, okay. Why do you say that? Why do you say that? Both fruits can be enjoyed as healthy part. Man, I got to say on those days where I'm just like feeling totally lonely, I'm just going to sit here and talk to this thing. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, they don't have personal opinions or preferences. Okay. Interesting. It will converse. That's fantastic. Okay, here we go. Write lyrics. Here we go. Write lyrics to a rock song in the style of Foo Fighters. This ought to be good. I probably should have given it more context. But let's see what it does. Whoa. Here we go. Oh, no way. Verse one. I'm feeling lost and all alone in this world of spinning out of control. I'm reaching for a hand to hold, but nobody's here to break my fall. Chorus. And I don't know what the future holds, but I'll keep fighting till the end. I'll keep on tight to the things I'll know, and I'll keep moving with the flow. Unbelievable. I'm screaming at the top of my lungs, trying to make some sense of it all. I'm searching for a light in the dark, but it's so hard to see through it all. Nuts. Wow. Because even has a chorus and a bridge. Keep on fighting and won't let go. Keep on trying and won't lose hope. But keep on moving. Won't give in. I'll keep on fighting till I win. Come on. Right? This is insane. Loneliness killer. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Um, how do I stay motivated? It wrote lyrics to a song. I don't know what the future holds, but I keep fighting till the end. That is insane. I don't need an effort that I can write a song in the toilet flushing. Here you go. How do you stay motivated? Set specific achievable goals for yourself and break them down into smaller tasks. This can help you feel a sense of progress and accomplishment as you work towards your goals. Surround yourself with supportive and positive people who encourage and inspire you. Find activities or hobbies that you enjoy and make time for them. This is nuts. Remember, staying motivated is a progress or a process, and it will help. And it will take some trial and error to help find what works best for you. It's important to be patient, be kind to yourself as you work towards your goals. This is absolutely nuts. Okay. Um, let's see here. Can you? Yeah, chord progression. Let's see here. Um, write a chord progression for a bl uh, sad blues song. Let's see what it does here. One possible chord progression for a sad blues. Here you go. It even knows which chords are common in blues music. The projection of uh, the progression creates a sense of tension and resolution. Nuts. Absolutely nuts. The AI getting it for, from YouTube. No, it's called chat gpt it's a standalone text api that can write your titles um write five viral youtube titles about popular music let's see if you can get those because I'm not sure if it knows what's considered popular music in terms of the, the actual artist, but it might. Let's see. Here you go. Top 10 most streamed songs of 2021, the evolution of pop music, a decade-by-decade decade guide. What? That's fantastic. 
behind the scenes, the making of a hit song, ranking the best music festivals of 2021, the rise of indie music, how DIY artists are taking over the scene. That's insane. Insane. Absolutely insane. All right, let's throw some other ideas at it. Type your niche. Tell me what your channel's about in the chat and let me throw this in here and get some YouTube ideas for you. Go back here, see what Tube Spanner's writing. So this AI gets more specific as your requests get more specific. Yes. Live auctions. Okay, let's see. Um, write 10 viral YouTube titles about live auctions. Oops. Live auctions. All right, let's see. I'm curious what the difference would be between, because I'm asking for 10 viral YouTube titles versus 10 YouTube titles. Let's see here. If you create a supplemental database of, say, music, then it will add that knowledge to its answers. Mm. Gotcha. Motorcycle vlogging, that's good. Here we go. Live auction, incredible antique furniture finds. Watch the live auction unfold, a live charity auction event. Exclusive preview, the best lots at our next live auction. Live from the auction house, the most valuable collectibles. Join the bidding, an exclusive live auction experience, live auction fever. Yeah, these kind of had that viral feel to them, but I'm curious what it says. Um, write 10 YouTube titles for live auctions. So those are more viral feeling, I think. And let's see what it just says for general live auctions. And I'm going to put in Moto Vlog in. I think that's a good one. Xgamer069, this is called ChatGPT. ChatGPT. Here we go. Live from the auction house. Is it the same one? No, so it's writing different ones. Join the action. So they're similar. It didn't really make them different. They're still good. And the cool thing here is, so if you're doing live auctions, right, and if that's the, the keyword that you're going for, it's putting that keyword in every single title, right? Live auction, auction house, another way to say it, right? Live auction. It's putting that keyword that you're trying to target inside the title. Um, 10 great titles uh, for motovlog YouTube, tinkering YouTube for motovlogging. All right. Yeah, this thing is nuts. X Gamer, have a good one. Hello, boss. How you doing? Here we go. Motorcycle adventure, exploring the open road, the ultimate motorcycle vlog, tips, tricks, and adventures, the thrill of the ride, a motorcycles vlogger's journey, motorcycle vlog from beginner to pro, motorcycle vlogging tips, tricks from the perfect ride. These are great, all right? Yeah, those are very specific titles that are targeting, some of them are, tar yeah, I think a lot of them are targeting other um, people who are interested in motorcycles motorcycle vlogging how about 10 great titles relating to railroads all right let's go um right youtube titles about railroads that's interesting now 
this is a very generic about railroads. Like if you wanted to be very specific about railroads, like you could probably say, you know, small town railroads or big city railroads or Amtrak. You know what I mean? You could be very specific, old ones, new ones, uh, but we're just going to go broad here. See what it comes up with. Okay, Toby, YouTube title about a motorcycle oil change. Okay, Kale, uh, Kale the Gamer Girl, we'll do that one too. Here, let's see what it says. Exploring the World of Railroads, a documentary series, a history of railroads from steam to diesel. That's cool. Railroad adventures, exploring the great American landscape, railroads and, tra and rails, a journey through American railroads. Railroad nostalgia, that's good. A look back at the golden age of railroads. That's good, okay. Um, tell me how to build a Minecraft server. Um, I don't know. It, it, so it, can, it doesn't have access to the internet and to surf the internet, so it cannot review a channel. But Midnight Madness, what's up, Charlie? But I believe, um, Tube Spanner, correct me if I'm wrong, but don't you have something in there that does a channel audit in your in your Tube Spanner site there that can actually do a, a look over on your channel? All right, here's how you build um, the first steps to building a Minecraft server. And I don't know if these are correct or not, so somebody read them and tell me. I have no idea about Minecraft, so you'll have to let me know. Um, right, Tinder for, for YouTube video aimed at kids. Okay, hold on. You could add Christmas trains in there. Okay. Write a YouTube title about oil, motorcycle oil. Okay. Let's see here. So there's nine steps here for creating a Minecraft server. I don't know anything about Minecraft, so somebody let me know if that's uh, correct or not. Okay, write a uh, catchy, ooh, catchy YouTube title about about uh, changing the oil in your motorcycle. Let's see what that comes up with a single, right? A catchy YouTube title. Let's just come up with, let's do, let's do three. Write three catchy YouTube titles, see what it comes up with. <laughs> You're confirming with your 12 year old, I love it. Donatella, how you doing? Haven't seen you in a while. Hope you're doing well. Just using aimed at kids and aimed at adults at the end will bias the language. Okay, that's interesting. Ooh, that's good. 10 best practices to get more subscribers on YouTube. I love, whoa, what did I just do? see here we may have stumped it with the oil change here oh stumped something seems to have gone wrong maybe trying a little bit okay let's do this let me refresh write three YouTube titles about changing the oil Oil in a motorcycle. Let's see what it comes up with now. Cal the Gamer, bye. Thanks for hanging out. Let's see what it comes up with here. Golf Plus, I see that one. Let's see if you change the target. Target age. It's pretty close for Minecraft, says Smoke and Ivories. Okay, that's awesome. Here, 
Here we go. What's it say? How to change the oil on your motorcycle, a beginner's guide. Boom. There you go. DIY motorcycle oil change made easy. This is fantastic. Essential maintenance, changing the oil in your motorcycle, right? Those are three totally different titles that speak to people totally differently, but it's the same topic. Like that's where this thing shines. And tube spanner, you've got a spinner for something similar, I believe. All right, 10 best practices to get more subscribers on YouTube. Let's see what we got. Naked Truth, Dr. Melanie, good morning from Arizona. How you doing? We are doing some crazy stuff here with this text AI coming up with YouTube titles. For those of you who came in late, chat GPT will write your titles for you or write your descriptions. It will write your scripts. It will write your bullet points. Hmm, something's gone wrong. Okay, well, it's having some problems here. Let me put this in again. Try again. My son said you'd have to post your own IP, but would most require a purchase for DDoS protection, but close. All right, well, that's, that's the thing. It's close. This thing's new, right? It's close. So give us some time. Give us some time as it learns. Uh, this is going to get going to get scary, I think, as it gets smarter. The chat API is getting absolutely hammered. Yeah, it must be because it's not pulling this up right now. First of all, let's check out what's dark mode. Oh, no, we don't. Oh, my eyes. That's terrible. Let's get rid of that. Let's try this again. Yeah, it looks like it's jammed up. And oh, Inspire. Angel, you mean Inspire a story with Christian music? Clarify that a little bit. Yeah, that's the thing. They do the heavy lifting to inspire you. 100%. That's the whole point of this. You know, like, you know, you get in that stump and you're just like, my brain isn't working. I can't think of the ideas. I can't, which direction should I go? This thing is an idea generator. Here we go. 10 best practices to get more subscribers on YouTube. Create engaging and high quality content that provides value to the viewers. Check. Use compelling titles and thumbnails to grab people's attention and encourage them to click on your videos. Check. Promote your videos on social media and other platforms to reach a wider audience. Check. Collaborate with other creators and cross promote each other's channels to reach new audiences. Check. Engage with your audience by responding to comments and encouraging them to subscribe. Check. It's not bad, man. Not bad. Angel, can you clarify that a little bit in terms of how you said that? So I want to make sure I'm asking, inspire a story because it doesn't play music. So I need to be very specific about how I'm asking it about music. I'm going back to the chat here too. Let's see here. I saw some other suggestions. But yeah, I want to add um, for kids. Okay, so let's do this. Yeah, so all these suggestions, use YouTube end screens and annotations to promote. Yeah, I mean, this is solid. This is really solid advice. Use YouTube's analytic tools to track your performance and understand what's working and what's not. Yeah, I mean, just best practice stuff. This is fantastic. And you could even say, write a blog post about... A YouTube channel for kids. Let's see what it says. I wonder if it's going to write it in the language for kids. Trying to trip it up here. I want to see if this helps writer's block. Um, what's a good introduction for a paper on conflict coaching? Okay, well, let's see here.
Growing a YouTube channel for kids can be a challenging but rewarding endeavor. So it's writing a blog post. Now, I saw somebody talking on TikTok. There's another... So there are websites that you can put text into and it can determine somehow if an AI wrote the text or not. But there are other websites that you can put the text into that will humanize the text a little bit that makes it more difficult for the detectors to determine that it came from an AI. Now, I'm not into blogging anymore, so I'm not sure what what's accurate and what's not, but according to the person on TikTok who was talking about this, they claim, and TubeSpanner might know something about this, they claim that Google can, penal, um, can penalize you if your content is written by an AI uh, in regards to blog posts. No idea if that's accurate or not. I just saw somebody talking about it on a TikTok video. Just thought it was interesting. Recipes. Oh, that's good. Yeah, so this is like a whole a whole blog post. So what I would probably do if I wanted to use this, I would take this, I would edit it, and I would humanize it a little bit myself, you know, add a couple of things, maybe remove a couple of things to add some of my own flavor in there, but you've got a blog post. Um humanized for realness let's see what this does yeah i mean this blog post is pretty good okay here is the uh, introduction to conflict coaching here we go oh no hold on hold on write a paper so it didn't write the paper it just wrote about conflict coaching um, what is a good paper? Okay, did I write that correctly? Let's see, let me go up here. What is a good introduction for a paper? Okay, what is a good introduction? What is a good introduction? Make sure I write this right. Good introduction for a paper. Paper on conflict coaching. Good introduction paper on conflict might be drawn. Yeah, I'm not sure this is what you're looking for. Yeah, I'm not sure that's what you're looking for, but I'm going to see if I can write a letter to my boss. Dear boss, I'm writing to inform you that I've decided to resign from my position at company. After careful consideration, I've decided that it's time for me to move on to new opportunities and challenges. I have greatly appreciated the opportunities. And this is writing a resignation. I quit, right? Resignation letter. That is nuts. There you go. Look at that. I quit. How crazy is that? Paul Peck, how you doing, man? Um, write an email. Asking a company if they want to sponsor a YouTube video. Dear company, I'm reaching out to inquire about the possibility of partnering with you for a company-sponsored YouTube video. My name is Blank, and I run a popular YouTube channel with X subscribers. My channel focuses on a topic, and I create high-quality, engaging content that resonates with my audience. I'm currently working on a new video that I believe would be a great fit for your company. The video will focus on topic and showcase your products in a positive light. I'm confident this collaboration would be a great way to promote your brand and reach a wider audience. I'd be happy to discuss the details of the partnership and provide you with more information. Please let me know if you're interested in discussing this opportunity further. So here it is. It asked, uh, it, or it wrote a very simple email to send a company about working with them. That's nuts. Eileen Smith in the house, how you doing? Yeah, so real quick, I hate the YouTube algorithm. It took 12 subs away from me. So the YouTube algorithm did not take 12 subs away from you. Uh, the algorithm doesn't do that. What happens is people do unsubscribe from channels, but if you lost 12 all at once, what could have happened, If you, unless you uploaded a video, if you uploaded a video and it's different than what people actually subscribe for, they may have left. But what more than likely happened is you had some bots that were following you or some fake accounts. Maybe at one time you did sub for sub 
or accounts just got deleted because they were breaking YouTube's terms of services. So YouTube went in and did a purge, deleted those accounts, and you lost 12 uh, subscribers really quick. That's how the purges happen. It's a great topic. Eileen, have you played with this thing yet? Have you looked at this? L look at this, Eileen. Um, write 10 YouTube titles for how to use Adobe Photoshop. Watch this. This is nuts. The ultimate beginner's guide to Adobe Photoshop. 10 Photoshop tips and tricks every designer. Day. Like what? You know, for people who struggle with titles, they struggle with scripts, they struggle with bullet points, they struggle with descriptions, struggle with writing blog posts, this is insane. These are great titles. A couple of them might be a little bit too long, but they're still good. Mastering Layers in Photoshop, a comprehensive guide, right? From Zero to Here, a Photoshop tutorial for beginners, advanced Photoshop techniques, how to create professional looking images. Like that's nuts. Yeah, it's nuts. Eileen, give me give me a topic, Eileen, and let's write some titles. And it can write descriptions. It can write scripts. It's crazy. Uh, write a YouTube script about using um, Photoshop layers. It's probably gonna be a boring script, but let's see. Hey everyone, and welcome to another video on my channel. Today I'm gonna to be talking about one of the most powerful tools in Adobe Photoshop, layers. Right? I love how it's putting keywords in there too. If you're new to Photoshop, you may be wondering what it's writing the entire script. To access the layer and panel in Photoshop, uh, simply go to the Windows menu, select layers. Like it knows. Look at this, shortcuts. Yeah, mind blown. Oh, yes, we're going to do that, Tracy. That's good. Go ahead and ask your question, uh, Murata. Happy to answer your question. All right. What should real estate investors do about the latest interest hike? Okay, let's... Yeah, we got a whole... Look at this, an entire script here. Not a long video, but it works. Okay. Write my wedding... Val, oops, did I spell that wrong? I did spell that wrong. Val's, uh, let's see here. Um, write my wedding vows to show, uh, write my wedding vows, make it inspiring. No idea what this is gonna do. Dear partner, Today I stand here before you, filled with love and joy as I take the biggest step of my life. I should have wrote, like, don't make it cheesy. As I look into your eyes, <laughs> I'm overwhelmed with gratitude. Yeah, it's kind of cheesy, but you get the idea. So, Tracy, if we get, Tracy, if you and I ever talk, if we ever get hitched, uh, this is what, this is our wedding vows, Tracy. This is it right here. You made this. This is all because of you. What should real estate investors do? Okay, let's see. investors do what was the rest of it um about the latest interest rate heights interest rate hikes this is going to be interesting i wonder if it knows holy cow so is it telling them what to do or is it just explaining what's going on oh as a result interest investors may need to adjust their budgets and investment strategies or account to borrowing accounts Another potential impact, mortgage insurance, blah, 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 blah. Real estate investors can also be affected by impact. Should carefully assess it. Yeah, so it doesn't give you detailed information on that. It just kind of explains the situation and gives you some basic information. Diver um, diversifying portfolio. But that's still pretty good. I mean, this thing is new, right? It's nuts. Do that and give it a good. Oh, uh, a joke about what? About your YouTube channel. Let's see. You love cheesy. Perfect. There you go. You got it. Or just tell me a joke. Let me see. Tell me a dad joke. Okay. 
Why couldn't the bicycle stand up by itself? Because it was too tired. <laughs> it's got jokes. I love it. It's got jokes. Uh, quick question here. Um, what happens with shorts and they pass? What? And that pass a few days, four days ago, I was making a good couple thousand views. Then the next day I can barely get 10 views. And I have these problems recently. Any knows Anyone knows um, there's a fix. Yeah, so if you have shorts where you're getting virtually no views and you've got other shorts where you're getting thousands of views, the views where you're getting almost no views, delete that short and re-upload that short later. Delete it and, and re-upload it. Do that as many times as you need until you start to get views. But be warned, if it's a bad short, it's a bad short. But if you're like, hey, most of my shorts are getting 1,000 views, but for some reason I'm only getting 10 on these or I'm getting none on these, delete those and re-upload them. What happens is when you upload a short to YouTube, YouTube is always testing. Let me, that's right. Hit that thumbs up. YouTube is always testing different audiences to see who's going to respond to that short. There's always different people online. So you upload that short. Maybe your short gets put in front of the wrong audience. Maybe it just doesn't get put in the right place. And then it just doesn't get the eyes. Upload it at a different time. It might get mixed in with a different audience group that they're testing it in front of, and it might work really well. So if you're getting zero views or 10 views when the rest are getting you know, several hundred or thousands, delete them and re-upload them again. That being said, I have an entire video on my channel talking about how there's been algorithm change, or there's been a big algorithm change, uh, and there's some other things that could be causing you to have lower views with your shorts. But this is something that's, you know, you were getting tons of views, then all of your views just fell off a cliff. There could be a couple of reasons for that. Go watch, uh, go watch my video. Ooh, how to solve, there you go. How to solve global warming. This ought to be interesting. Going to melt the whole thing down. It's thinking. Oh, that's good, Toby. Hey, Jay Rio. It's thinking. I love it. Doesn't know. You're on a flight tomorrow, Nikki? Have a good trip. Ooh, doesn't know. Something went wrong. Tell me a joke about podcasting. Could just be getting hammered right now. I know this happened before. Yeah, it must be getting hit pretty hard because it's struggling to do anything right now. Here we go. Why was the podcasting editing software so expensive? Because it had a recurrent neutral net feature. Oh, a re recurrent neural net feature. Uh, not sure on that one. Must be a podcasting joke that I don't get. <laughs> Write a romantic letter for a 20th wedding anniversary. That joke's corny. <laughs> yes. Here we go. Here, my dearest love, 20 years ago on this very day, we took our vows and pledged our hearts to each other and what a wonderful journey it has been. In the years since, we've laughed and cried together, shared our hopes and dreams and built a life that is truly ours. Through it all, you've been my rock, my partner, and my best friend. As we celebrate this milestone anniversary, I want you to know how grateful I am for you and the love we share. I'm so proud of all that we've accomplished together, and I'm excited for the adventures that the future holds for us. Here's to another 20 years of love and laughter, my darling. I love you more with each passing day. Yours always and forever. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. All right, let me go backwards here. Tracy, is that one cheesy enough for you? chat here let's see this one tell me 
tell me a dark joke for adults. <laughs> I mean, oh, I love it. Let's see what it says for a dark joke. Why was the math book sad? Because it had too many problems. Why was the computer cold? Because it left the windows open. Why did a golfer wear two pairs of pants? In case he got a hole in one. Why couldn't the bicycle stand up by itself? Because it was too tired. Why was the belt arrested? Because it held up a pair of pants. Why was the belt arrested again? Because it held up another pair of pants. <laughs> oh my goodness. I love it. I love it. All right, I'm going to reset this. Okay, so you get the idea here, right? You get the idea. It can write your titles. It can write bullet points. It can write your description. It can write your script. It can write blog posts. This thing is incredible, and it's currently free. It's incredible, and it's free. So if you're struggling and you're trying to figure out how to write your titles, I don't know how to write a description. This thing, while it's not perfect, it's really good. It's really good at writing those things for YouTube. It does break up and cheating. Okay, that's horrible. Um, write a letter to tell my... Uh, tell my husband... That I want I that I want a divorce. That's oops. That I want a divorce. That's just dark. Let's see. Your granddaughter's Miss Kansas. Oh, that's awesome. It'd be competing in Miss America. That's fantastic. Congratulations. Let's see here. Dear husband, I'm writing to let you know I've made a difficult decision to end our marriage. I know this will come as a surprise for you, but I'm truly sorry for any pain I hurt you to cause. Uh, after a lot of thought and careful consideration, I've come to the conclusion that it's in both our interest to end our marriage. I want to be honest with you and let you know that I'm not happy in this marriage. I know that the decision will not be easy for us either, but I believe it's the right one. I care about you deeply, and I want to be able to move forward in a healthy and positive way. This is crazy. This is crazy. So, okay, here's an interesting one. Um... Write a music sync license. So this is very specific, and I just thought about this one. A sync license is what people need when they put music to video. So, for example, if you're using Creator Mix or Epidemic Sound, or I don't know if Epidemic Sound gives you a license. I think they do. And if you have a problem with any of that, you can get a license, which is called a, a sync license. We have it in the footer of our website website on Creator Mix. And it just basically shows that you have whatever rights that we give you to use the music. Anytime you put music to video, you need a sync license. Holy cow, it's writing a legal uh, document here. Okay, this is nuts. This music sync license is the agreement and it's made between, get out of here. Yeah, I would be really uncomfortable uh, being a lawyer right now. This is nuts. This is absolutely nuts. It's writing an actual sync license agreement. Holy cow. Yeah, this is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. All right, Mike, I don't have any way to test this on here, but if you're good at eyeballing code, uh, we can do that. I'll produce a button that links. Okay. Um, let's see here. Pour in iframe. That will make a button. Oh, what would what, what, you ask? I'll produce a button that links to our... Um, google.com yeah this is writing an entire look at this 
I'm I'm just blown away. It's legit. It's writing an actual. I wonder if I can stop this thing. I don't want to because this, this will be long. Let me see. Yep, done. All right, let's see. Write code for an iframe that will make a button that links to Google.com. Let's see what it does. And you'll have to check this yourself because I don't have any way to uh, check that. Yeah, students in general. Oh, a sponsorship agreement. I like that. Oops, I spell it. Sponsorship agreement between a YouTuber and a company. Okay, let's see if it writes this code first. Hmm, okay, that one's having problems. We'll come back to that one. It could just be that they're jammed up. Let's try a different one. Write a sponsorship agreement between a YouTuber and a company. Could just be getting hammered right now. Yeah, they've had 5 million new users. No, I'm sorry. Uh, 1 million users in five days. So this thing is just getting hammered. Completely hammered. Let's see what it does. Eric, it probably can. Yeah, it looks like it's struggling here. Give it a moment. Kids are getting dumber. Oh, cow, here we go. Sponsorship agreement. Sponsorship agreement is made and entered into as of date by in between the YouTuber's name. YouTuber and the company. Yeah, man, it's writing it. So, I mean, obviously, I, I wouldn't, not yet anyway, I would not do legal agreements on this because you never know you know, in the event you do end up in court, heaven forbid, uh, you never know how it's going to hold up. And it might be legit. I don't know. I saw, I did see a lawyer on TikTok talking about, or he was showing some of the uh, legal things that it was asking. And it, it knew the law. But when it comes to contracts, the contracts are, are, are very uh, nuanced. But yeah, it's, it's, it's writing this out. This is nuts. Absolutely nuts. Yeah, it's probably the bad jokes that are slowing it down. Yeah, in consideration for the uh, grants under this agreement, companies shall pay YouTuber the amount, dollar amount, on a monthly basis. Promotional consideration, right? So it's not ideal. You'd have to be very specific. But and again, I wouldn't, I wouldn't use this for business uh, in this way. I would actually hire an attorney. But still, the fact that it's even trying is pretty remarkable. I'm going to go back to the code here for a second. Write code. Let's see what it says here. I know it does write code. I've seen people um, have it built some websites and pages, or not websites, but pages. I think Grabs was in here saying that he, he had it build like a basic mobile app, which is insane. Here we go. Here's some code for an iframe that will display a button that when clicked will link to Google. Holy cow. Look at that. It's out. Come on, look at this. Copyscape, yeah, creepypasta, that's the one. Yeah, I saw some I saw some people on TikTok that were they had multiple sites where they were taking text from this and they had some they had a couple of sites that were detecting um, plagiarism, but also it can detect if it was made by an AI. Don't know how it can do that. But they were throwing it into another site that was humanizing the text a little bit, and then they're putting it back into uh, the other site, and it couldn't tell anymore that it was AI written. So, yeah, I'm just 
mind blown with all this stuff. Yeah, so here's your code right here. Like that is just legit. Not, yeah, I thought we were gonna get more. So just at a glance, this looks good. You'd have to obviously style the button. There's no styling on it, but that's, I mean, just bare bone HTML, that's it. Holy cow. I use this instead of Stack Overflow half the time, especially for easier stuff. I just forget how to do for programming. Oh, hey, Phil, how's it going, man? Phil, how long have you been using this? Because I know this thing has just exploded, but I'm guessing since, you know, you're a programmer and all of that, uh, how long has this actually been around? Good to see you in here, Phil, by the way. Yeah, this is nuts. Absolutely nuts. Um, what if a person's writing is so dry it's viewed as AI and it's... Yeah, I don't know, <laughs> Toby. I have no idea. I was just... Oh, just a week or two. Okay. I don't... I think it's free. Well, I know it's free now. And I haven't... When I signed up, and Phil, you might know this. When I signed up, there there was nothing on here about a free trial. It was just sign up. I would assume at some point in the future they will put this behind a paywall and maybe they'll have maybe you'll get you know a certain amount of queries for free like you do with um mid journey i think it's 50 images you get with mid journey which is incredible now by the way that's learning so fast you get i think 50 free images there and then you have to pay if you want more yeah it's nuts absolutely nuts Let's see, it's free, but you're limited to how often or how fast you can use it. Okay, there you go. They said it's totally free while they compile data. Yeah, we're training it, right? We're training the uh, we're training the AI. So yeah, so that's the th you know, the coolest thing for me is just the you know, for YouTubers, right? Like right 10 Oopsie. Compelling video titles about live streaming. Um, live streaming for beginners. All right. Ooh, I should have put YouTube. I didn't put YouTube. Let's see if it's smart enough to know. Let's see what it does. I know before we had some really good ones. Phil, we've had it writing titles, bullet points, YouTube descriptions, entire scripts um, for YouTube videos. And it's been pretty good. Here we go. 10 tips for successful live streamers as a beginner. Perfect. How to set up your first live stream in five easy steps. Fantastic. Live Streaming 101, A Beginner's Guide to Going Live. I love it. The Essential Equipment for Beginner Live Stream. I mean, these are great. How to Engage Your Audience and Grow Your Live Stream Community. The Benefits of Live Streaming for Your Business or Brand. That's great. Maximizing Your Reach. How to Promote Your Live Streams. The Do's and Don'ts of Live Streaming for Beginners. Love it. Creating Professional Live Streaming Setups on a Budget. Maximizing Your Live Streaming Potential. Advances to... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to probably use a couple of these. I'm just going to take a quick picture. Right? Like, here you go. Like, I'm going to use some of these. They're that good. They're that good. That's absolutely nuts. And then write a YouTube script about the um, benefits of live streaming for your business. All right, here we go. So that was this one here, right? So here's the title. Now let's write the script. You could probably also do, you know, bullet points for this, but we're doing, we're doing the script. And we didn't specify how long. I wonder if it can tell. I, I mean, I have no way to tell how quickly you would speak, but I wonder if you can say for a five minute video. Welcome to our channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about the benefits of live streaming. Yeah, here's, I'm going to read this just like it's a script. All right. I'm going to read this. Just like it's a script. Hey, Foot Doctor Zach, what is happening, my man? I'm going to read this exactly as if it's a YouTube script. And you tell me 
if it's good enough for beginner live streamers. I'm not going to read the entire thing, but I'm just going to read a little bit of it. I'm not a big fan of welcome to our channel, but I'm just going to do it anyway. Welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about the benefits of live streaming for your business. First and foremost, live streaming allows you to connect with your audience in real time. This creates a sense of authenticity and engagement that can be difficult to achieve with pre-recorded content. Another benefit of live streaming is that it can help you reach a much wider audience. With the ability to interact with viewers in real time, you can create a sense of community and encourage people to share your content with their friends and followers. This can help you expand your reach and grow your business. Live streaming is also a cost-effective way to produce content. In many cases, all you need is a smartphone or a computer or a webcam to start streaming. This means you can create high quality content without the need for expensive equipment or production costs. That's all I'm gonna read, how's that? Is that convincing enough? Oh yeah, you can probably put a word count. There you go, look at you. <laughs> look at you, five minute videos around five to 800 words, there you go. Yeah, there's definitely some things that I would change in there to personalize it and I would, I, you know, maybe 10% of that I would change, but it's a great starting point. It's a really good starting point. Write a short creepypasta. All right, what do we have? Write a short creepypasta. I've heard that exact same script from other channels I've seen. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you got that dialed in word for word. <laughs> Probably, <laughs> probably. Yeah, I, you know, I just see this as a great starting point. Like I wouldn't build a business on it, but not yet anyway, but for just the ideas, right? Give me the ideas, right? Give me the, give me the title ideas. Their titles are great, by the way. A lot of their titles are fantastic. Give me some bullet points, write the script. Probably 75% of the script's gonna be usable. Right, just give me ideas in general. Holy cow, as I walked down the deserted street, I couldn't shake the feeling that I was being watched. The street lights flickered overhead, casting eerie shadows on the cracked pavement. I quickened my pace with my heart pounding in my chest. I could hear the footsteps behind me getting closer and closer and closer. I turned to see a figure in a hooded cloak, its face obscured by darkness. I ran beneath, uh, that's all I'm gonna do on that one. <laughs> All I would have to do is edit the story. There you go. This is nuts, man. So um, give me five ideas to start my YouTube channel. Um, have a look at your OpenAI profile. There are payment forms and details are ready. Okay, interesting. I know when TubeSpanner was in here, she was saying that um, if you want access to their API, you have to pay. Um, but I don't know the details. Thanks, Paul. I'll have a look in there. Here he is. Five ideas to start a YouTube channel. Share your passion. If you have a hobby or interest that you're passionate about, consider starting a YouTube channel to share your knowledge. Yes, it's good. Teach a skill, vlog your life, collaborate with others. This is great. Create a series. Yeah, again, it's not perfect, but here's five ideas, right? I don't know what to make my YouTube channel about. Well, they don't tell you a particular niche. They're very direct here. Share your passion. If you have a hobby or interest that you're passionate about, consider uh, starting a YouTube channel. Consider starting a YouTube channel to share your knowledge. It's nuts, man. Nuts. Let's see how it comes up. Um, I would use this for video titles and social media captions, but like you said, it's a starting point. Yeah, I would say this: out of all the titles that we've tried tonight, we've we've run a lot of titles. Uh, I would say 85 percent, maybe ninety percent of those titles, I think, were really good. Really, really maybe ninety. Ninety percent of them were really, really good. And for someone who's just starting out and they might be struggling with writing titles and coming up with ideas, because people just write the, people just write terrible titles. Like anytime you do channel reviews, 
you know, titles are probably something I see people struggling with the most in terms of um, metadata, right? But here you go. Here's your ideas. Let's see here. Must try this. Let me go back here. Imagine merging this with an altered voice program. Yeah, well, yeah. so they have the audio AIs that mimic human voices, and some of them sound amazing. I haven't played with them personally, but I've seen people on, dude, TikTok has a whole area over there of people talking about and showcasing all these different AIs. It's, it's pretty insane. But I've seen some videos with human voices and just the make-believe AI characters that are, it's just nuts. So I'm sure you can merge this. I mean, with something like the script, something like the script will edit your video based on how you edit your text. So, you know, just integrating one of these into another. And that's one of the reasons why I guess you would pay for the APIs to do that sort of thing. That's nuts. Just nuts. Yeah, exactly. The script will mimic your own voice. That's terrifying. That's terrifying. But it's great, you know, like if you say a wrong word, you're like, oh, you know, I, I messed that word up. I'm going to go back and change that to say it correctly. My titles are straightforward, but not necessarily eye-catching. Well, you know, it's something to work on, right? Like if, if you know that they're straightforward, my, my suggestion would be come up with some eye-catching ones and test them, right? Because you got to figure out which one your audience is going to respond to the most. But the way YouTube is going, which unfortunately I, I don't like, like, I appreciate, let me say this the right way. I appreciate channels like Mr. Beast and all these huge channels that just hit viral video after viral video. I appreciate what they're doing. I appreciate their hustle. I appreciate their work ethic. I appreciate how they've cracked the code and they're doing all that stuff. But at the same time, I really dislike how it's pushing everyone to do those sorts of things. Like titles are just becoming more and more exaggerated. Thumbnails are becoming more and more ridiculous. Uh, I just, I'm not a fan of that trend. So I, I think there is something to be said about just being straightforward. But at the same time, it's just like that trend is just moving in that direction. Straight up, you will be able to post AI generated content, but you won't be able to monetize it. Yeah, not yet. <laughs> not yet. Like, right? Like, how good is the AI or how yeah, how good will the AI get before YouTube doesn't pay attention, before YouTube isn't noticing? Um, titling songs on YouTube has been my biggest thorn in the side. Okay, so this is a great – I'm going to take this off for a second. Uh, that's a great thing, and I've seen a lot of musicians. Um, let, me, let me share a channel with you really quick. I just came across this channel. Um, Give me one second here. So titling songs on YouTube, okay? What if you didn't title the song? Instead, what if you captured a mood? Now, I want you to check this out. I want you to check this out. I came across this channel, and I think it's really cool what they're doing here. Here it is. Check this out. Look, look at what they're doing. So they've got 76,000 subscribers, but that's not what, what I want you to look at. I want you to look at how they're titling these. Now, keep in mind, a lot of these are compilations. And I'm not even sure if they're realizing what they're doing here because they came back here and they did an individual song. And then they put the artist name in the title. Uh, let me mute um, if I click into this. But what they did is they work on moods. So instead of a, a compilation... It could still be, oh, I'm, you're, oh my God, you couldn't even see it. Boom, there you go. So instead of the names, right? So they have this one, right? So they have this one. This is a single song. And they titled this, here's the artist, here's the name of the song. Well, that's boring, okay? But look at these. Look here when they try to capture a mood. Look at what happens, right? Now they're capturing a mood. Badass songs that'll get you pumped. 5.4 million subscribers. Songs that'll make you feel badass, right? That could be a song that makes you feel badass. A song that makes you sound, a song that makes you feel like a hero, right? A song that makes you want to cry. 
a song that fits your depressed state of mind, whatever, right? If you can capture a mood, badass songs for badass people, songs that make you feel like a villain, right? Look at these, right? Badass anti-hero playlists, right? Millions and millions of views, millions of views, millions of views. Now, the recent ones haven't done as good, but their individual song with the actual artist and the song title, 16,000. In comparison, 70,000, 100,000, and all the rest are millions, right? So they're capturing a mood. They're capturing a mood. So try capturing a mood and try to hone in on how people are feeling, right? And it doesn't just have to say, you know, badass songs for badass people. It could be this song or a song for sad people. It could be this song will make you cry. This song will make you feel sad. This song will make you miss your whatever. This song will make you think about your ex-girlfriend. Whatever it is, whatever mood you're trying to capture, go for the moods when it comes to music. Um, this channel is called Simply Rebel. Rebel Mix. And I just thought it was so clever how they were doing this because they were going after mood. And if you think about it, right? If you think about it from how, how people look for things, right? Especially on social media. If I go to YouTube and the reason I know about this, music to get me fired up, right? Music to get me fired up. Like, that's what I was looking for. I wasn't looking for um, William Morris born to, born for this. I don't know that. I'm looking for music to get me fired up, right? So I click on that, a song to get you fired up, songs to get you hyped up, right? Reddit's top five pump-up songs, badass songs to get you pumped, songs that make you feel like a badass, right? Fired up, fighting pump-up songs. You see where I'm going with that? Go after the mood, man. Go after the mood. Right? But a song called Rebel, that doesn't capture a mood. That's just the name of the song. Wow, that's good. That's a writer channel. The new song called That's What She Said. That's great. All right. And on that note, I want to thank you so much for hanging out with me and exploring uh, Chat GPT, the text AI. Again, this thing will write your YouTube titles, it can write bullet points, it can write your descriptions, it can write your scripts. But if you are doing descriptions and you are doing scripts, I recommend going in there, making sure that it says the right thing and fine tuning it a little bit. But for titles, it is really, really good for titles, really good for titles. And as this improves, as all of these AIs improves, I mean, these are tools, these are tools uh, that we can use to help us speed up the process, to help inspire us, to help give us ideas. Um, they're, they're tools, use them as such. Uh, Mid Journey is another great AI that's great with images. I think it, was, it may have been Roberto Blake who I saw making some thumbnails um, with Mid Journey and it looks really good. So, you know, Google this stuff, learn about this stuff because these are tools that we can use as creators to help us move faster and help us hopefully find uh, a better connection with our audience because the titles that they were writing here for every subject that we typed in, every single one of those um, was a title that spoke directly to a particular audience. There were just a couple of them that were a little bit too long, I think, for, for a YouTube title. But like I said, 90% of them, I think, were amazing. I'm going to use a handful of myself. Like if you saw me taking my camera out and, and taking a couple of pictures of them because there are titles in there that I will actually use. So thanks again. Uh, for hanging out with me. Thanks for the thumbs up. Thanks for the shares. Thanks for the super chats. And I haven't streamed in a while. So this felt good. I feel rusty. I need to get back up on the horse. It's been too long. So have an awesome week and I'll see everybody soon. Cheers.